Hey, what's up? Shao Style here, and I got a, another tutorial here for you guys. Well, actually, it's not much of a tutorial. Um, this is more of a what happens in case you run into this problem, which I did. So, um, every now and then, uh, when I work on other people's projects or a project of my own, I figure that um, if there's a problem that I come across that kind of took me a while to figure it out, if, uh, if it's something that I cannot find easily on the internet, and uh, I'm, I'm able to discover it on my own uh, to discover a solution, then I figured I'll share it here with you guys. So, you know, to help you guys out in case you come across this situation. All right, so most likely these are going to be for, you know, the noobs or people that are starting out on Premiere Pro, you know, whatever. But uh, either way, uh, hopefully it'll help you out, okay? So, anyways. This is a project that I'm working on for a friend of mine called Bo Bryant. He has a YouTube channel. Um, you know, I'll probably have an annotation or a link to um, his channel so you can check him out. But uh, I'm doing an effect. But uh, he sent me his video clip over the internet. And this is basically the situation. So as you can see here, I got a new file, a new project open in Premiere Pro. So. Let's go to file, import, and here's the footage that you sent me. All right, it's importing. So I'm going to right click on it, go down here to, yeah, a new sequence from clip. So by doing that, obviously, I created a sequence that matched the footage, so everything should be fine, right? But uh, check this out. I'm going to hit play. And so then he finishes his story. And I think to myself, man, I gotta get over there and I have to explain to her how I feel. Then do it. That's what I've been saying this entire time. Just do it. I know. Just go go over there. But it's complicated. What 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 it's happens? It's not complicated. Right? Just go over there, okay? I'll drive you. You tell her how you feel. Alright, so as you notice the audio goes out of sync, right? And like uh at first I got confused, I'm like, why would that happen if it's, you know, the sequence is matching the footage? So it took me a while to figure it out. Not too long, but I found a solution. So, all right, so um, to solve the situation, what you have to do is uh, you got to find the original video file. All right, so uh, just search for your raw file. Now, if I was to play this by itself. And so then he finishes his story. And I think you to see myself, that the man, audio sings perfectly, there. right? I have to explain to her how I feel. Then yeah. But as you can see in Premiere Pro, we're having a problem. So what I found is this file is a .m4v. So what I do is right click, copy, then uh right click on an open space here hit paste to make a uh, duplicate right just uh, leave the original alone now change the extension of this uh, duplicate file to dot mov you're gonna get the same thing change an extension blah 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 say yes all right now this clip imported to your premiere pro project now, as you can notice, pretty much by creating a .mov, it changed the frame rate to 30 frames per second, which the .m4v is 25 frames per second, right? Anyhow, on the new duplicate layer, right-click, they make a new sequence from clip. And delete the original one. You don't need it. So as you can see here, it made a new sequence from our .mov copy. And if I hit play... And so then he finishes his story... I think to myself, man, I gotta get over there. We should be able to, to see now that the audio is synced up. Then do it. That's what I've been saying this entire time. Just do it. I know. Just go, go over there. But it's complicated. What, what, what happened? And yeah, that's basically it. The exact reasoning, I do not know. So, if you guys do know, then you feel more than free to leave the re the reason in the comments section below, right? But uh, this is just kind of like a quick help in case uh, you come across this problem. What you, you can do, right? So. Um, also, another thing is, if you were to like, s say, submit a film or a video, and it has to be a specific, uh, you know, uh, 
file format, uh, what I just showed you, you can do it as well. Instead of rendering out the video, you can duplicate it, and you can just change the extension to a .mov like I did. So, you know, that does help every now and then. You know, it does work. So, um, I don't know. So, maybe that's two tips in one video today, right? So, anyways, uh, one more thing to add before um, I go is that I thought a quick solution was to change the frame rate, right? Be like, oh, maybe I can just uh, change this guy to 30 frames per second. You know, I started messing with that. You think, oh, maybe that will work, right? However, I think to myself, man, I've got to get over there. And I have to explain to her how I feel. Then do it. That's what I've been saying this entire time. Just do it. So as you can see, you know, after I change the frame rate inside of Premiere Pro of the original file, uh, it just messes up the audio, you know, pretty bad. So, so yeah, like I said, the best solution is basically go to your original footage inside your project file, duplicate the video, and create a .mov extension by renaming it with a .mov, right? So in case uh, anybody says, oh, what the fuck, when you go to just, you know, change the frame rate inside of Premiere Pro, well, that's your answer, you know? I've been on the internet all, a long time, so I guess I know what to expect, so I had to clarify myself before I ended the video. So anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching the video, and yeah, take care.